Hey guys, welcome back to another Clash Royale video, and today we're going to be taking a look at the newest card in Clash Royale, the Heal Spirit, which just came out today to replace the Heal Spell. I have two decks to share with you guys today, but first things first, more importantly, taking a look at the leaderboard over here, in just a couple of hours, the Heal Spirit has already taken over. It is currently the number one deck in the entire world world as you can see over here uh honestly guys a ton of players on the top of the leaderboard are rocking the uh heal spirit in their deck as you can see over here we have some more heal spirit action and some more heal spirit action over here guys it is everywhere so i have two decks to take a look at today this one right here a faster hog cycle with the mini pack of the firecracker and the heal spirit this one right here as well, the 3.1 Royal Hog Cycle with the Heal Spirit as well, Magic Archer and the Hunter, guys. Both of them, very, very solid option, guys, for rocking the Heal Spirit in your deck. Uh, once again, guys, if you want to support me, make sure you throw in Creative Code Shane into the bottom of your shop before buying past real or special offers or gems. It costs you nothing extra, and it's a great way to help support me and help support the channel. So thank you to anyone using Creative Code Shane in their shop. But let's go ahead, guys, jump into our first battle here with the first Hog Heal Spirit deck against our dear friend Nestor. Now, obviously, both of these decks in today's video are basically the previous meta versions with Heal Spirit subbed in. The Heal Spirit has been proven to be very, very strong since the um, since the uh, change, the, the re recent update today. So, Heal Spirit there. He says he's impressed. We can go log here to start cycling. We got a 2.6 hog cycle, so we can afford to use a log out of rotation if we need to. And now we're gonna go bats. He's probably gonna gotta have a golem deck just based off the fact that he's not doing anything right now. And we're gonna go hoggy right here and see what my friend got. Sir? Ah, it's a P.E.K.K.A deck. So one hog shot there. Gonna go firecracker here. I just gonna pull the P.E.K.K.A over here. Wait for it. Let's go. Nice, there we go. And then most likely gonna get a mini P.E.K.K.A for this miner right here. Bats for this P.E.K.K.A. And I really want to go Hog Rider. Ice Spirit here as well. He's going to log back to my Hog Rider here. Let's go. Jump, Spirit, jump. Yes, heal the mini P.E.K.K.A. up. Because look how much healing that Heal Spirit does. It is insane. But meanwhile, look at the tower in the right lane. Somehow done 2,500 health. I don't even know what I used there. I think maybe, what did I even use there? The Bats? They go and support the Ice Golem, is that what it was? Interesting. Very interesting. Sir? I got a Firecracker. Oh! E Wizard. So Peck and Miner Poison. Interesting. Interesting. Very, very interesting. Go. Nice. So Firecracker shoots once. The Earthquake does destroy the Tesla there. Mini Peck at left lane. He's gonna go probably Dark Prince for this. Gonna support it with a heal spirit right here, because uh, honestly, mini Pekka plus heal spirit is insane. But she just got smacked. She just got the smack down by that Pekka right there, guys. Poor uh, mini Pekka there. Poor dude. Pull that back there. Okay, we good. We can we can support that. Boom. There we go. Hog in the right. He's gonna go minor for the hog rider. Poor dude. Can we sneak a heal spirit in there in time or nah? Should have went a heal spirit left lane, honestly, for the E wizard there. For that minor, I'd rather, sorry. So tower on the right is down fairly low. We're looking pretty good here so far. Gonna go Hoggy by itself. He's probably gonna go Pekka for that. Knowing that we have the Earthquake for his Tesla. Never mind, I am wrong. Pekka right here. NATO Z, eh? Interesting, eh? Where is your Pekka? There it is. Go, 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 Hog Rider, go. Dude, can you run past that pack up, please? There you go. GG's. Well played. So, Nastor. Good game, dude. Good game. Interesting pack up minor control deck with Tesla. You don't usually see a Tesla in a, in a pack up deck, but I'm okay with that. I'll take it. So, we'll do one more battle with this deck. See how it goes. All right, guys, jumping into battle here with Mr. Fish. Mr. Fishy Boy. Sir? Gonna go log here to start. Oh no, the zappies. Oh no. The reason I'm saying oh no is because he's got zappies in there. Indicates he might have a fireball bait deck. And we have no furball in our deck, guys. We have none. Zero. No furballs. Oh, okay. 
This is highly unfortunate, right, Meow? Bats do work. So does the Firecracker. Hoggy Walkie right here. I would go Ice Spirit here. I mean, Fire... I mean, uh, Heal Spirit. But instead, we're going to go Heal Spirit. It's going to get in just in time to dodge to the, uh, the arrows there, which was all according to plan, guys. That was all according to plan. Don't even at me, okay? Knight here. Oh, nice. Zap is going down. Nice log, Shane. You missed one of the zappies in noob. All right, Firecracker. Putting on some pressure. One more shot. Thank you. So, <sighs> Graveyard isn't the best deck to face with this one. Just because you kind of don't have the best answers for Graveyard. You kind of don't. Ah, oh, the Barbarian Hot. That's disgusting, dude. That's nasty, man. That's nasty. I kind of want to save my Firecracker for the Graveyard because we got nothing else for it. You know? Thank you. Go, 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 go. Should have went Bat instead of the Ice Golem there. That's my B. Totally is my B. But, um, I don't know how we're going to come back from that, to be honest, dudes. Jump. Nice, there we go. So we got a little bit of something something done there. You might go uh, Barbarian Hut here. I hope you do. Please do. No, the arrows. One hockey shot. Nice. And this is where we die, boys. Lock this back. Let's go. He's got freeze spell in there. No freeze in there. Okay. I'm okay with that. Just gonna earthquake this Barbarian Hut here. You know, that's how it is. That's how we do things around here. We just drop those earthquakes when we need to. That is all. Come on. Arrowsing me, bro. We don't like that, dude. Don't arrows me, bruh, bruh. Log back this knight here. Hog gets one shot plus one more. Tower goes down. Mr. Fishy Boy. Good game, well played. So, what do you guys think of the Heal Spirit? Pretty cool card, I think. GG's, man, GG's. Uh, uh oh. Alright, we're back. Okay, cool. Let's throw on deck number two over here and give it a shot as well. See how it goes. Alright, so facing up against, um, this guy. Okay, good luck, sir. Good luck. So, with this kind of a sturdy hand, we kind of really want to go nothing for now. I just go in for the spears. Uh, outside of the tower range, though, just for just because I love doing that. I love misplacing my cards, guys. That's my favorite thing to do in Clash Royale. Uh, so, well done, Shane. Well done. Doesn't matter, though. Spears are dead anyways. Do we see a Moiner for this? He's going to potentially have a uh, Mega Knight in there, which doesn't bode well for um, my Royal Piggies, you know? Huh. Interesting. Huh. Yes. Plus back here. Um, not too sure why I went Magic Archer there. That's not a great play at all. So I kind of regret that. But for the most part, I'm just kind of chilling out. We know it's pretty pretty much got Mega in this deck, so I kind of don't really want to do anything just yet. For that. And then we're going to go uh, Hunter right here. I'm playing very conservative with my piggies because we know he's got uh, the, what do you call it, in there? A Mega Knight, rather, sorry. We might see a Mega Knight right here on my Hunter. No. Dude, that was a pretty nasty, uh, what do you call it there? Uh, Heal Spirit. Keep my mini pack alive. Hunter, rather, sorry. Alright, so the um, mini pack will die to the Infernal Tower right there. But, if I had a Heal Spirit, I would heal it up right now, but we don't. Alright, Magic Archer, I choose you. Destroy the Ice Spirit, please. Alrighty, dude. Where is your Mega Knight? Kaboom, right there, left lane. Yep. Yep. 
Ah, that killed the magic archer. That sucks. Honestly, though, we should be okay here. No, that's not uh, Ice Golem. I 100% tapped Ice Golem there, guys. 100%. I 100,000% tapped Ice Golem there. Don't even at me, bro. Don't even at me, bro. I'm gonna get a hand camera. Just to show you guys I'm not lying. Just to, just to prove I'm not lying, I'm gonna get a, get a hand camera. Because I know you guys don't believe me. Alright. Let's go. Nice, let's go. Get some piggies action going on here. Where's your hunter? Mega Knight. There it goes. Earthquake this jazz. Go, Mini Pekka, go. One more shot, please, Mini Pekka. Oh, baby. Good game, well played. So I think the Heal Spirit definitely provided a bunch of value that battle there. For sure. 100%. 100% provided value. Very, very happy with that. So let's go ahead and unlock these cards here. Cue those up. Doing pretty well. We beat Nestor, Mr. Fisher Boy, and that guy. Let's go into another one, guys. Keep it going, keep it going, keep it going. So... Here we go against Mr. Rub Salcedo. Is it Salcedo or Salcedo? <laughs> These are the important questions. Yo, seriously? You know what I love, guys? I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna go on the record right now and say exactly what I love in Clash Royale. I love when I have Mini Pekka and Hunter in my deck. And I... Stupid log. Kill my, my heal spirit. I love when I have Mini Pekka and Hunter in my deck, and neither of them are in an opening play when he goes Hog Rider. That is my absolute favorite thing in Clash Royale. When I have two good Hog counters, and neither of them are in my opening rotation. Don't you guys just love that? Isn't that your guys' favorite thing in the world when you have specifically a card in your, in your deck to counter a card, and you don't get it when you need it? <laughs> oh, lovely. Absolutely lovely. Valkyrie potentially here for... Oh. Valkyrie potentially here still. Goblin Gang. Dude, your deck is kind of disgusting. I gotta be honest with you right now. It's kind of nasty, man. There we go. Cool. So now he's probably gonna go... Log right there. We're just gonna go Earthquake Cyclage. So, come on, come on, dude, how come the mini, ah. dude, why didn't the mini a shoot? I know that the hog rider ran away, but there's so many times that I have a hog rider, ah. I don't get this game sometimes, guys, I really don't, I don't get this game sometimes, it's hard to describe it. Some of you guys might know what I'm talking about, but there are so many times where I'll have a, a Hog Rider running past a Mini P.E.K.K.A. And the Mini P.E.K.K.A. will still finish his attack even at ranged. Even when the Hog Rider leaves, even when the Hog Rider is like two tiles away, there are times that the, the, the Mini P.E.K.K.A. will still get the shot off. But for me, it retargets there. I, I don't get it, man. I'm confused. I'm utterly and literally confused, man. I'm so confused right now, guys. Like, like, why does that happen? These are what I these are what I need to know. Did you guys see that heal spirit? I didn't. Oh yeah, yeah. GG's man, well played. Uh, it was kind of a tougher battle, to be honest. He had uh, Fireball and Valkyrie and the Mini Pekka, so some good counters, but like. Dude, why? Why didn't my mini picker shoot? There are so many times that I'll see a ranged mini picker, but for me, it never happens. Ay, ay, ay. All right, let's go ahead here. Jump in to another one against our dear friend. We're going to go Heal Spirit to start here. Heal Spirit is uh, honestly okay to cycle, just as you would an Ice Spirit. So, basically, a little bit of like 100 damage for one Elixir is not bad at all. 133 damage, I think, is what it is. Or is my math wrong? <laughs> Is my math wrong? Oh, yeah, yeah. Anyways, let's go log here. Our deck is fairly fast cycle. 
So we can afford to go log there. But now we're kind of thinking. Now we're wondering here. What do we do? I just go with the river, I guess. Just kind of see what my friend's got. Ice wizard. All right. Indicates it might be either ice bow or graveyard. We'll kind of find out here. Oh, definitely going to be a graveyard deck. Okay, cool. Wait for it. Hunter here. Most likely has Bomb Tower, and then we're gonna go Royal Pickets here in the middle. Bomb Tower here, let's create that. Let's go. King Tower will be activated to one of those piggies. This will be a difficult battle for us because Bomb Tower does destroy the, uh, what do you call it? The Royal Piggies. And we don't have the most effective answers for Grave. We got Magic Archer, but he, like he's okay. But he isn't the greatest for four elixir. Hunter's okay as well, but it's honestly hit or miss, to be honest. Wait for it. Oh, dude, he's smart. This guy's smart. Okay, let's go. He can still go graveyard here. We died. Mm. What's back here? Let's go. All right, cool. So we didn't die there, which is important. Not dying is very important in this battle here. But getting past that bomb tower will be a little bit difficult with this deck. Ah, what a smart dude. Doesn't fall for it. We still get the, the uh, thing down, though, eh? So, like this. Hunter Archer here. Hunter here. Heal everything up here. Heal that mini P.E.K.K.A. through that night damage there, boys. Royal Hogs here. He's not going to fall for it again, guys. He's not going to fall for it again. Let's go. That bomb tower survived so long, man. So long. All right, let's go. Do one of these. I'm going to go all on one side so we can't use the bomb tower in that location anymore. Nails that back. One of them gets through there, which is not ideal. Let's go. Come on. Hold that back here. Thank you. Now we do this and this. He misses one of them, which is important. Magic Archer here for the night, hopefully. Get his tower down. One, two. There we go, baby. That's such a difficult matchup, man. The bomb tower destroys your piggies. Uh, the, he's got so much splash damage. Uh, GG's, though. GG's, man. I love having the heal spirit actually heal the, the piggies through the bomb tower. Really, really cool to see. Really, really cool to see. Anyways, guys and girls, that is the end of the video. Here are the decks one more time. If you want to go ahead and give them a shot yourself. First, we had the 2.6 Hog Cycle with the Heal Spirit. And then we had the Royal Piggies uh, Heal Spirit Cycle as well. Let me know which one you think is stronger. This one is definitely more popular of the versions. But this one is like the second most popular heal spell deck in the entire game right now. Uh, this one right here, all over the leaderboards. Number one player in the entire world right now, guys, rocking this deck. Uh, and at least like five out of the top 10 players have this deck on their profile. This one as well. Uh, so like I said before, guys, let me know down below which one you think is stronger. Or if you guys are using the heal spirit in a different deck, feel free to share your heal spirit deck down below. I would love to see what you guys are all using. Um, and what do you think of the heal spirit overall? Do you think it's strong? I know that the, the stats don't display here. People might be wondering why. It does actually require a full client update to change the way the stats are displayed. So until now, this is what it says, um, but it will be fixed in the next client update. So what do you guys think? Heal Spirit, strong, balanced, or weak? Leave your comment down below, strong, balanced, or weak. Personally, I think it's gonna be on the, um, the more balanced side. I think initially it seems strong, I would think though, but it fits in like, it only, I think it only fits in like certain decks. So personally, I think it's kind of like maybe a bit on the higher side of balanced 
a bit of the stronger side of balance, but not like OP kind of thing. But obviously, we're only, we've only had it for a day, so time will tell. Uh, so once again, guys, girls, if you want to support me, throw in Creative Coach Shane into the bottom of your shop before buying anything out of your shop, before buying past real or special offers or gems. Um, there's a new season coming up. If you want to support me, make sure you throw in Critical Chain Guess before you're buying your Pass Real for the new uh, Magic Archery emote and the new Tree House Tower skin. So, uh, anyways, thank you. Thank you if you are rocking, rocking uh, Creative Coach Chain. But that is the end of the video. I really, really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to leave a like, subscribe for more Pass Real content. Thank you for watching, and we shall see you in the next one.